Good day, ladies and gents. We're going to be going over the answers to the study guide. Um, I'm going to be doing this cold turkey, so if there's any mistakes, I apologize ahead of time. So here we go. All right, so definitely read the instructions uh, to each problem thoroughly. Show all your work. And uh, no work means no credit. So we want to have the work for everything that we do. And they didn't say anything about... Um, Oh, right here it says simplify the fractions. So fractions, we need to make it pretty. All right, so let's go ahead and go to number one. All right, so first of all, you want to get all the x's on one side of the equation. So we want to move the 4x or the 2x. I'm going to move the 2x. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. And remember, when we go on opposite sides and equal sign, do the opposite operation. We get 2x because 4 minus 2 is 2 plus 1, this crossed out, is equal to a negative 5. Then we want to get everything away from the x. Get rid of anything adding, subtracting, subtract 1. We get 2x is equal to a negative 6. We have that 2x. We want to get rid of that 2, so we're going to divide both sides by 2. I ran out of room. So those 2's cross out, and we're left with x equals negative over positive is a negative. 6 divided by 2 is 3. The answer is negative 3. I want to check my answer. So I'm just going to put into my calculator 4 times negative 3 plus 1, I get ele negative 11. And then 2 times negative 3 minus 5, I also get negative 11. So this to check out, this is the correct answer. All right, number 2. Okay, so that was negative 3. So number 2, um, we want to get all the y's on one side of the equation. So there's an invisible 1 right here. I'm going to add this 3y to both sides because we like adding. So 4y minus 3 is equal to a negative 43. I want to get everything away from the y. Add 3 to both sides. 4y is equal to negative 40. I ran out of room, so I'll put it up here. 4y is equal to negative 40. I want to divide both sides by that positive 4. And I'll look with y is equal to negative 10. All right, so I want to double check my answer. So I'm going to put that into my calculator just to double check. I want to see if I plug it in on the left side, will that number be uh, be the same number as when I plug it on the right side? So when I put that into the calculator, I'll zoom out a little bit. All right, so when I put that into the calculator, I would have negative 10 minus 3, and I would get negative 13. Negative 3 times negative 10, all that minus 43, I get negative 13. Yep, I got negative 13 both times, so I know this is correct, but the answer was negative 10. Awesome. Okay. All right, number three. Okay, get all the b's on one side of the equation first. So I'm either going to add the 10y or I'm going to subtract the 7b. Or sorry, <laughs> I'm either going to add the 10b to the other side or I'm going to move the, um, I'm going to subtract 7b to the other side. I'm just going to subtract 7b from the other side. Well, we're still going to get the same answer. I'm just going to do that. So we get um, negative 17b plus 5 is equal to, these cross out, a 5. We subtract 5 from both sides. We get negative 17b is equal to, uh oh, that's a 0. Keep going. Negative 17b is equal to 0 divided by negative 17. And 0 divided by negative 17, I ran out of room, so b is equal to 0. All right, so let's see. Does that work? So when I plug that in, uh, so I'm thinking that b is equal to 0, so I'm double checking. So negative 10 times 0 plus 5, I get 5. 7 times 0 plus 5, I also get 5. So yes, this did check out. All right, number 4. All right, so on number 4, we want all the r's on one side. Notice I put a 1 in the front. So uh, let's say I moved it this way. So subtract 1r from both sides. I get 15 is equal to 3r minus 6. I'm going to add 6 to both sides. And I would get 21 is equal to 3r. I ran out of room, so I'll put it up here. 21 is equal to 3r. Divide both sides by 3. And I get 7 equals r. Or the better way to say that is r equals 7. And remember, when we put this in, in the computer, we only put the number 7, not r equals 7, or it'll be marked wrong. I want to double check that I got this right. So um, I'm, I'm pretty, So notice I wrote 7 into the answer box first, just to double check. So let's see, 7 plus 15, I'm just plugging it into here. I would have 22. Let's see if the 
right side would equal 22. And it does, so I know I'm doing this right. So the answer is 7. All right, number 5. All right, so on number 5, we want to distribute. So we throw this here, drops down equal 15y. Throw this here, this plus 3 is equal to 18y. Subtract 15y from both sides. Get 3 is equal to 3y. We're going to divide both sides by 3. We get 1 is equal to y, or in other words, one equals uh, y equals 1. All right, I want to double check that that's right. So I'm going to put that into my calculator. 3 times 5 times 1 plus 1. 18 is on the left side, and 18 times 1 is 18. So I know that this is, in fact, correct. All right, number 6. Okay, through this here, we get 15x plus 6 is equal to 6x minus 12. Get all the x's on one side. Subtract 6x from both sides. We get uh, 9x plus 6 is equal to negative 12. We want to get every, everything away from the x, so we're going to subtract 6 from both sides. Get negative 18. I ran out of room, so I'll put it up here. 9x is equal to negative 18. Divide both sides by 9, and x equals negative 2. So I'm pretty sure x is negative 2. I want to double check that this is correct, so I'm going to put it back into my calculator. 3 times 5 times negative 2. Okay. And then plus 2. I get negative 24. 2 times 3 times negative 2 minus 6. I get negative 24. So both ways, uh, so I got the answer negative 24 on both sides. So yes, this did work out. All right, sweet. Okay, now fractions. A lot of you guys were having trouble with fractions. Let's talk about that. When you have a fraction equals a fraction, that's the best. All you have to do is put them in like little chunks. Okay, so this a plus 1, we want to multiply onto the other side. All right, so we want to multiply onto the other side. So that would be 3 times a plus 1 equals, and then, so those two multiply, and then equals these two multiplied. So 2 times a minus 3. All right, distribute. We get 3a plus 3 equals 2a uh, minus 6. All right, we're going to subtract 2a from both sides. We get 1a plus 3 is equal to negative 6. Ran out of room, so I'll put it up here. All right, 1a is really just a, so a plus 3 is equal to negative 6. We're going to subtract 3 from both sides. We get a is equal to negative 9. And I want to double check that that's right. So if I put that in there into my calculator, 3 divided by 2, on the left side I got 1.5. On the right side, I got on top is negative 9 minus 3, divided by on the bottom negative 9 plus 1. I got 1.5 again. So I know I'm doing this right. So I did, in fact, get negative 9 as my final answer. Okay, so that was correct. All right, number 8. Okay, same thing. Um, these two go together, so 25 times 3 equals these two go together. 5 times f plus 2. We get 75 is equal to 5f plus 10. Subtract 10 from both sides. Get 65 is equal to 5f. 65 equals 5f divided both both sides by 5. 65 divided by 5, I get 13. So 13. Or f equals 13. Boom. I want to double check that I'm doing this right, so I want to put this, I'm going to put this in my calculator. Notice I already wrote the answer in there. Okay, so 25 divided by uh, 13 plus 2 is 15. And I got 1.6 repeating. 5 divided by 3 is also 1.6 repeating. Now, be careful when you check. A lot of people accidentally put this answer in there as your final answer. That's not right. This 13 was the number that worked. All right, flip over to the back. All right. Okay, so we're going to um, cross product here. Okay, so same thing as before. So these two go together, so 9 times n minus 4. These two go together equals 6 times n minus 7. All right, distribute. 9n minus 36 is equal to 6n 
minus 42. Subtract 6n from both sides. And remember, this is the way I'm doing it. As long as you still get the same answer and you keep the, the equation balanced, you're, you're still good. I'm going to add 36 to both sides. 3n is equal to, um, okay, I owe $42. I'm, I'm paying off 36, so I know I'm still going to owe money. So negative 42 plus 36, I get negative 6, so I still owe 6 bucks. Okay, I'm going to divide both sides by 3. And I ran out of room, so I'll put up here. So n is equal to negative 2. So my answer should be negative 2. I want to double check. So on the top, negative 2 minus 4 divided by 6. I got negative 1 on the left side. Negative 2 minus 7 divided by 9. I get negative 1 on the, on the right side. So I, those were the same numbers, so I know I did this right. My answer was negative 2. All right, number 10. Okay, cross product again, just a lot of practice. So eight times m minus eight, and six times m minus nine. Distribute eight m minus 64 is equal to six m minus 54. Okay, I wanna get all the m's on one side, so we're gonna um, Move that 6m, so subtract 6m from both sides. 2m minus 64 is equal to negative 54. We're going to get everything away from the m, so we're going to add 64 to both sides. I get 2m is equal to 10. Divide by 2 on both sides. And I ran out of room, so m is equal to 5. So that should be my answer. I want to double check that I'm right. All right, so I'm going to double check that I'm right. So 8 divided by, on the bottom, is 5 minus 9. So I got negative 2 on the bottom, um, on the left side. 6 divided by 5 minus 8, I got negative 2. Yep, I got negative 2 on both sides, so I know I'm doing this right. So my answer was uh, 5. Excellent. All right, number 11. All right, so ah, so this is not a fraction yet. So there's two ways to do this. You can either just multiply by two or put this over one, and now you're back in familiar territory. Um, if you're still not sure, if you uh, see, um, so you can either cross product like we've been doing, or you can get everything to have the same denominator. So I'll show extra steps here. So I threw that over one, and then I want the denominator to be two. This already is two. This one will multiply top and bottom by two. We get n plus 1 over 2 is equal to 56 times 2, 1, 1, 2. Be careful with the double uh, numbers. A lot of people put 1, 1, instead of 1, 1, 2, they accidentally put 1, 2, 2. That happens all the time. So if you made a mistake, that's probably what you did. And this is 2. Now, once you have the same denominator, we don't care. So it's n plus 1 is equal to 1, 1, 2. Subtract 1 from both sides. We get n equals 1, 1, 1. So that should be my answer. Put it over there. All right, let's double check that that worked. On the left side, 111 plus 1 equals, and then divide by 2, we got 56. So 56 on the left side, 56 on the right side. We know we got the right answer. The answer was 111. Okay, and number 12. Okay, so we're going to distribute this negative 5 here. So we have negative 5 minus 10x minus 10 is equal to 19. Okay, now when they're on the same side, the equal sign, we're going to do the same operation. A lot of people put plus 5. No, you're just going to combine these. Negative 5 and a negative 10 make a negative 15. So minus 15 is equal to 19. That's where a big error happens. Okay, so be very careful with that. Okay, now we're going to add 15 to both sides. Negative 10x is equal to 19 plus 15, we get 34. Negative 10x equals 34, divide both sides by negative 10. Okay, I ran out of room, so x equals positive over negative is a negative, so negative. Now 34 over 10, we can simplify that. We can at least take out a 2 because they're both even numbers. Let's focus a little better. All right, so I'm going to divide top and bottom by 2. And I would get negative 34 divided by 2. I get negative 17 over 5. And that's my answer, negative 17 over 5. Awesome sauce. Okay, um, 
Now, negative 17 divided by 5, I get negative, that's really negative 3.4. But that's not the right answer. That's not right. But if I want to double check my answer, I can just use the decimal version instead of writing out the fraction. So uh, negative 5 minus 5, parentheses, 2 times negative 3.4 plus 2. On the left side, I got 19. On the right side, already is 19. I know I got the right answer, so there we go. And the last two problems. Okay, so what coordinate is this? Oh, well, this should be pretty simple. That is 4, negative 2. So it's the xy coordinate. I went over 4. I went down to negative 2. So um, same thing as earlier. Boom, that's pretty easy. And then um, plot this. Um, I went... So this is my x and my y, so along my x-axis here, I'm going to go over to 3, and on my y-axis, I'm going to go down to negative 5. And that's my found answer. Hopefully that helped you guys out. Um, and I should probably just post up the answers, just the final, final answers. So um, let's do that. All right, let's do that. All right, so we have number... One. Number one was negative three. Let's see, three. I'll just go in order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. It's 14 in the graph. 14 is the graph. Do it right there. All right, we got negative 3, negative 10, 0, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 5, 11 was 1, 1, 1. That's awesome. Negative uh, 17 over 5. We got 4, comma, negative 2. And the last one was a graph. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Which is right here. Boom! All right, and so that was the final answers to the study guide. Um, study guide answers. Hopefully that helped you guys out. Um, and be ready for your test tomorrow. Have a great and wonderful day.